Bulginaka, do you know that cybercrime is becoming a growing problem in Fiji? Cybercrime is defined as a crime in which a computer is the object of the crime, such as hacking and spam. Cybercrime is also cyberbullying and using fake profiles to cause panic and spread false news. If you're involved in this or know anyone who's committing these crimes, report them immediately. I'm Polly. And I'm Peter. We host the Traffic Jam Show on City FM. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. every weekday. Do, do the, the right, right thing. Naminaka Fiji in this bulletin, Environment Ministry carries out random checks on supermarkets. FRA focuses on improving road access and livestock theft, a concern for Thai level farmers. From the studios of FBC Suva, Edwin Nam. The Environment Minister and his team will continue with random assessment of commercial facilities this week. Over the weekend, they visited some supermarkets and roadside markets to ensure adherence to the plastic bag ban. Environment Minister Dr. Mahindra Reddy says during the visit, they issued warnings to outlets which continue using plastic bags, which are 50 microns and below, and provided with information assistance, leading to awareness and commitment to the ban. The Environment Ministry is calling on supermarkets to strictly adhere to the ban on single-use plastic bags. And, yes. We're telling them they need to comply immediately. And let's leave it there. It can be. Just a week remaining to the beginning of another school term, the Health Ministry has given the green light for students living in quarantined areas to report to school on the 13th of this month. The Ministry's Head of Health Protection, Dr. Alisha Sao Khan, has confirmed the quarantine on Saumakia village in Naitasiri and Nasilai village Nakelo was lifted on the 31st of last month. She adds that, that business can now continue as normal, but people must remain vigilant at all times. This is because an appropriate amount of time has passed since the last cases were recorded in those villages. villages. So the uh, quarantine has been lifted for the, from those villages. The people in um, Samakia and Nasilai are free uh, to go about their business and do their back-to-school shopping. In all the national measles immunization campaign that was temporarily suspended on the 21st, 27th of last month due to tropical cyclone Sarai will now resume in all divisions today. With only seven days left for the beginning of the school term, the Education Ministry has reiterated there will be a time limit for the use of blue subsidized e-transport cards from the first term. Permanent Secretary for Education, Alison Birchall, says this is being done to avoid misuse of the initiative. She adds there will be a restriction on the blue cards for students, so they will be operational from 6.30 in the morning to 9 a.m. and then again from 2.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. Virgil says all students carrying blue e-transport cards can get the balance loaded onto their cards using the redeem function. From the 8th, uh, students and parents can, can, uh, can redeem their, their e-tickets. Uh, and again, we appeal to parents and students to do so um, before the 13th so that the students can use the tickets on the 13th to go to school. Um, we often find that, uh, that this is left fairly late, so, uh, so again, we would appeal to parents and students to be able to do that as soon as possible. Farmers, excuse me, the Fiji Roads Authority will start to work to ensure good road services are extended from 4x4 access to Prius access. This was revealed by the FRA Acting Chief Executive as many people living in the interior of Fiji and in the Maritime Islands now own Prius cars. Kori Tandula, Tandulala reports. FRA Acting Chief Executive Kamal Prasad says their next priority is to ensure good road services for drivers around the country. And work on um, getting those roads from 4x4 access to Prius access, basically. That's, that's what's happening because uh, a lot of people up in the mountains have got Prius and then they usually take them up and, up and down uh, the, the island. So we, what we want to do is just make sure that uh, for now we get that 4x4 access. He adds they're also working closely with the Land Transport Authority to ensure bus services are not disrupted when school starts on the 13th. Together with it, we're working with the LTA because uh, they get the reports for the buses, especially for uh, the school children. And they let us know that, hey, the bus company has gone to them saying that this road is not serviceable. And uh, we work uh, with them to get the thing up to the standard that's required for bus service.
FRA says all roads affected by TC Sarai should be fully restored within three weeks before they can start work on other roads to ensure they're Prius friendly. Kuroitan Dalala, FBC News. Farmers in Tailevu have raised concerns with the Agriculture Minister over livestock theft becoming increasingly common in their area. Minister Dr. Mahendra Reddy, while responding to farmers' concerns, said there is a need for a strategy to protect livestock and animals. Dr. Reddy says normal policing is not enough to curb livestock theft. The minister says they will work with the Ministry of Defence to develop a strategy and take the industry forward, ensuring the protection of livestock. Fijians who were affected by TC Sarai have been praised for their response in getting their lives back together without waiting for government assistance. Minister for National Disaster Management Chone Usamate says Fijians in the affected areas in the Maritime Islands were quick to get back on their feet post TC Sarai. Usamate says our response to natural disasters are becoming more immediate and this is seen as a positive sign for the country. Getting back into normalcy, getting back into their lives, cleaning up their, their homes, looking at the things that they can do themselves rather than waiting for government. I think that's a positive sign. Overseas, the New Zealand Defence Force is gearing up to help fight the bushfires in Australia as fires merge into mega blazes over the weekend. Smoke from the fires is again making its way to New Zealand, giving Auckland an eerie orange tinge. Coming up, women's rugby may miss out on Tamak Damu 7s and Eroni South course for Edinburgh. Welcome back. One of the main concerns for the Tamban Damu 7s organizers is whether they'll be able to put together a women's competition. The issue was highlighted by tournament director Malakai Yamaivaba, Akwida Dama, with the story. While there has been a positive growth in women's rugby in the country, the response has not been great from women's teams for the Tambandamu Sevens. As uh, we speak uh, today, there's only one team have uh, registered and paid in the registration fee. Uh, as far as I see, and um, we are concerned, uh, we will uh, not likely to have the women's competition for the. But there's good news for teams that are interested to take part as the registration period has been extended. Uh, we still open uh, registration at the moment and uh, we believe uh, uh, when we reach uh, the anticipated teams that we, that we want for the tournament, which is 24 men's team and 16 youth teams, uh, then we'll close the registration. Meanwhile, Lamy Cavellias is one of the teams confirmed for the Tambandamu Sevens and they plan to expose their young players at the tournament. Uh, some of us are under 18 and the youngest players is uh, 15 years old. Just, uh, we want to develop in uh, developing uh, their rugby skills in the future. The Tambandamu Sevens will be held at Prince Charles Park in Nandi this weekend. Aquila Dama, FBC Sports. Former Fiji 7 star Eroni Sau was on the score sheet for Edinburgh yesterday as they thrashed Southern Kings from South Africa 61-13 in the Pro 14. The 2018 World Rugby 7's Rookie of the Year scored his try in the second half. Roy Krishna's ATK side is back at the top of the Hero India Super League table after their 11th round win over Mumbai City 2-0 yesterday. Krishna didn't score a goal but was instrumental in the win as he helped set up both ATK's goal. A bit of a mixed bag today with fine conditions giving way to cloudy and possible afternoon showers in a few places. And that's your FPC Morning News. Remember to join us at 1pm and 7pm for our major bulletin for these stories and others. You can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. That's it from me for now. Have a good morning.
हमारे खूबसूरत देश बीजी में चाइल्ड अब्यूज की घटनाएं आए दिन बढ़ रही है क्यों बच्चों का मासूम बचपन अब्यूज का शिकार हो जाता है अपने बच्चों की सुरक्षा का खास ख्याल रखें। उनसे बातचीत करें उनके दोस्तों के बारे में जानें। आज के बच्चे देश का भविष्य है मैं दीप्ति और मैं मोनिश आपके हम सफर शामिल हो जाए हमारे साथ मंडे टू फ्राइडे फाइव फोर्टी फाइव आई एम सी टेन आई एम तक रेडियो फिजी टू देश की धड़कन आरोप